So, who is she, James? Just somebody I used to know. And how do you know, Dina? I don't want to talk about it. You, my friend, just got so much more interesting. Forget it. <laughs> you know, I knew this whole one-woman man thing was a little bit too pathetic for a hottie like Yes. Does little Miss Starr know that she has competition? You don't have to lie to me. It sucks that you're not with Ford. I know that. So? So you don't have to act like some strong Kramer woman with me. Yeah, well, maybe I need to for me. Why? Because I'm afraid that if I let myself fall apart, that'll be it. I'll help put you together. <laughs> okay? Yeah. Have you seen Ford? Not since I gave him back the necklace. I miss him so much. And when I read about Glimpy Cannon this morning, I had the phone in my hand, ready to call him. And I stopped myself. Okay. What, you think I should have called him? You guys are friends. You've been through a lot. And if it helps you... No, it wouldn't. I don't think it would. I don't know. But I am so far behind with school, it's unreal. And forget science and math, I haven't even started my screenplay yet. If I call Ford, if I talk to him, as much as I want to, it would just be a step back. All right, then you did the right thing for yourself. Yeah, well, it doesn't make it any easier. You keep your mouth shut about Sarah. Oh, come on, it's not that big of a deal. No, none of this is Tess's business, and I'm sick of her butting in. Ooh, but I think this girl is a pretty big deal. Listen, you out-of-control Kardashian wannabe, drop it. I might have to live with you for him and my nephew, but you will stay out of my business. James didn't dump me. It wasn't... You don't understand. You can't. Hey, whatever. I look, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to... Thanks for the coffee, but just leave me alone, okay? You got it. You don't hey. sound a satisfied man, Bobby. Your brother seems a little bit tense for a guy that has women lying. I warned you, Tess. Up. You know, <laughs> this whole anger thing that you've got going, it's not hot anymore. Good. Great. Oh, yeah. fine. Okay, well, this Dina girl can have you because I found myself a real man. Good. Tess just showed up. What was I supposed to do? What was that? Nobody. Wrong number. Did Brody tell you what happened afterward? What? Well, Jessica came back or showed up, whatever. Anyway, she's in control now. She went home with Brody, so it's all good, right? No, it's not all good. Tess came back again. Oh, no. Yeah, she's in control. She won't let Brody near her. I'm sorry to hear that, but look, hey, at least you know it can happen, right? Yeah, when she's at your place. Joey, I'm sorry, but Tess took me by surprise. What was I supposed to do? I couldn't let her go anywhere else. She could go anywhere. Fine. But if she shows up again, you call, all right? Yeah, sure. I gotta go check in with Mom. If you need anything from me, let me know. Sure. I gotta go check in with Mom. Liar. Tess didn't just show up at your place. She called when I was there, didn't she? You lied to me. You knew she was coming over, and you lied to me. So what if I did? Hey, look. You know, if, um... This is becoming a problem for you. Did I say that? I don't know. You said so much, I kind of got confused. I'm just figuring out the lines, that's all. Who said there was one? There are. John, you see Natalie and and we end up in bed together. What about you? I think of Joey and, and Aubrey and all I want to do is forget. This helps. Thanks. She's telling the truth. What? That's impossible. She can't be better. It's too soon. No, I assure you that, that it's not too soon. I am better. I mean, and I want to apologize for it. Like, that's going to help? Please listen to me. No, there's nothing you I, can I, say. I, you need to know why 
I did what I did. No, no, you know what? You're gonna upset the baby. Marty. Please, please, I need to say this. So tell your shrink. I promise you, I'm not gonna hurt anyone. It's gonna make things better, I promise. Just listen to me. I, I won't hurt Liam. I won't, I'm not a threat to him or, or you, Natalie. I, I know I did terrible things. I tormented you and Brody and, and I made you desperate. You, that's why you took me up to the- Okay, lot. I don't wanna relive all of this, Marty. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I just, I just want to tell you that, I, that I'm sorry for everything I did, especially for taking Liam in the hospital. I, I thought he was mine, but I remember now, and, and that's what I need to tell you. I, I know who Liam's parents really are. Oh, it's okay, Liam. It's okay. Here, I got the bottle. Oh, I was so happy before. Yeah, let me. It's my turn. Come here. Why are you still here? There's something you need to know. We don't need anything from you, Marty. No, you don't. What? You and John broke up. I mean, he, he told me when he came to visit. Wait, John came to St. Anne's? Yes, he, he said that he's done with you. Your mother was there, too. She, she told me that Jessica's DID came back. It was the news about Liam that uh, put her over the edge, wasn't it? This is part of it. But I can help. I can help with that. I can help no. Jessica. Okay, look, you, you've apologized, Marty. Please, just just go. I can make it all better. Marty, please, go. Just leave us alone. I mean, geez, whoever let you out is crazier than you. Oh, that would be John. John, John, John's the, the he, he's the one that helped me get discharged. What? Yes, John's been a very good friend to me. Perfect. It doesn't take a genius or a, a detective to figure out what's going on, John. Good. And you can explain it to me. You're, you're just really being polite or something. It's not necessary. Being with you, it, it stops feeling so bad. Okay. It's probably not the healthiest way to deal with rejection. You want to stop? Do you? All right, Tess, leave James alone. And remember, your real man is off limits until after the custody case. I know, I know. Listen, I'm starving, so I'm gonna go to the store. You guys want anything? You are not going to the store. Oh, but it's my turn. We're not taking turns. Well, your brother's being a total jerk to me, and it feels like a prison here, so I want some fresh air. You want Cutter Wentworth. I let you go out the door. That's the first place you're gonna go. I was gonna go to the store before I came home. No. Fine. We already won the custody hearing anyway. Not yet. Well, Clint's in jail. Did you ever think that that might help Vicky's case? Clint is a liability. Now that he's out of the picture, the judge might <gasps> rule that Vicky's the best guardian for Ryder. Now give me the keys. You have my bag. They're in your pocket. You're paranoid. No, I'm not. Here. What do you want from the store? Like I cook. All right, from the diner then. I want a breakfast burrito with extra chilies, sweet potato home fries, and a chocolate shake. All right, James, what about you? No. All right, will you watch the baby for me? Which one? <laughs> Both of them. You, hey, you stay here, or I'm chaining you to that chair permanently. lie to me to do it. I'm shocked you noticed. Oh, is that what this is? <laughs> well, there's not really much to do while I'm waiting for you to make your next move. Tess is not the answer. Do you see how this family protects her and her boyfriend is a cop? Don't you get what a bad idea this is? Why are you playing with fire? Why are you? What? I lied to you about Tess, you lied to me about Joey. Okay, I don't even know what planet you're on right now. Admit it. You were thinking about him while we were having sex. You change the channel so fast you can't even tell what's on. I want access land view. No. Don't you just love Phyllis Rose? It's just gonna be all about my dad's murder anyway. Are you the babysitter? Oh, and I have all the car keys, so don't try anything stupid.
Yeah? I'm looking for James Ford. I'm sorry, I upset Natalie. That isn't, that isn't why I came here. Wait. You've said your piece. Now I've got something to say to you. Again? What is this, Grand Central? Oh, there should be a line. OK, I want a line. Of course you're here. What do you want? What the hell were you thinking letting Marty Saybrook out into the street? I mean, jeez, John, is, is, this, is this revenge? Are you as crazy as she is? I don't know if you meant that apology or not. I did. I don't care. You did what you did. Your conscience isn't my problem. But my baby is. Liam's a problem? No, Liam is perfect. And he's my son. So I protect him, you understand? I don't want you anywhere near this baby. I I'm not a threat to him. You stay away and I'll believe you. But if you do anything to hurt him or Natalie, you answer to me. Sorry, what's the problem? Your lunatic baby-stealing ex showed up at my front door this morning. Marty's out? Yes, thanks to John, apparently. That's her story. Our doctors determined that, not me. They asked for my opinion. I told them I didn't think Marty was a threat. She tried to steal Liam from the hospital. She was confused, all right? Her doctors think she can handle it now. Well, are you sure about that? Are you willing to bet your son's life? <sighs> That's right. That's right, Liam's not your son because he doesn't share your DNA, so who cares about him? I think it's time you leave now, Natalie. You know what? No, I, I'm going. I'm going. No, you don't have to. Yes, yes, yes. Next time, just say yes to breakfast. Okay. I'm so sorry to interrupt your booty call with a little life and death. Marty's not going to hurt anybody. Yeah, well, we don't know that. And no one asked us if it was okay for Marty to go roaming the streets. We? Who's we? Brody and I thought that Marty had escaped when she showed up. Oh, you and Brody? Well, doesn't that sound nice and cozy? voice down? How could you say that? When I'm with you, I think about you. No. No, you weren't there. I was worried about Joey. Not like that. What if he believes all that stuff that Ford said about me only being into rich guys? Even more reason to move things up. No. If anything, we need to slow down. Be twice as careful. You're falling for Joey. But don't be stupid. No, stupid is staying here waiting around. You already think he's suspicious about us. Let's get things going. All right, with the old man out of the way, everyone's distracted, it should be easier. We're not even into the company yet. Yeah, so we grab whatever cash we can get our hands on and run. No, it doesn't feel right. Because you want to stay here with him. Would you stop saying that? I have eyes. OK, I like Joey. It wouldn't really work if it didn't look like I cared about him. Who do you think you're talking to? All right, I see the way you are with him. Cutter, I love you. We are about to get a huge score, everything we want. Or we're gonna end up in the slammer. All right, we need to just move. I'm not ready. You're not ready to leave him. You need to choose. Now, it's Joey or me. What's that supposed to mean? 